Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today we'll be cooking pork rib soup with bitter gourd and Sichuan vegetables. So let's start cooking. First, we have a pot filled with 3 liters of water. You don't have to wait for it to boil. Put in 600 grams of pork ribs. I blanched this already. Next, add in 500 grams of chicken feet. Also blanched. I'm using a thermal pot now because um, I'm be going out later and I want it just to cook on its own without an open flame. Now, if you are using a normal pot and you are at home watching this boil or waiting for this to boil, I'll suggest you to boil this for at least one and a half to two hours to get the full flavor out of it. Next, we're adding the bitter gourd. This 350 grams. Try to scrape off as much of the white color thing on the inside the bitter gourd because this is what causes the bitterness. So 350 grams of this, all in. One thumb sized ginger sliced. One tomato, kind of wedges like this. 150 grams of Sichuan vegetables. I've cut and rinsed them up twice. You don't have to soak this because we are cooking them in the soup. You impart the saltiness inside the soup, so we're not going to flavor the soup now. Just put everything in. And lastly, add in 10 cloves of garlic, skin on, but make sure you wash them. Once this has come to a boil, boil them for another 10 minutes and we put them into the thermal pot. This has been boiling for 10 minutes already. I'll just cover this up and move this into the thermal pot. I'm using a La Gourmet 7 liters thermal pot right now. I love this pot because the size is just right and the price is inexpensive. So let's close this up, leave it alone and we have beautiful soup in 8 hours time. We are back home already, it's time to taste the soup. Look at the steam, it's still very very hot inside there. Just give it a taste to make sure that it's savory enough and it's tasty enough. Remember that we haven't added any salt or any seasoning to this soup yet, so I just want to give it a taste. It smells fantastic. Can use a little bit of salt and I can taste the Sichuan vegetables inside there. Tastes very nice. One teaspoon of the salt should be good enough. It's not very bitter. Yeah. Mm. Right, now to serve this to the family. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how we cook our pork rib soup with bitter gourd and Sichuan vegetables. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.